Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to Azure Talks. Uh, today's topic is all about uh, the Azure SQL. Uh, we'll try to cover uh, the main part, which is the how to connect to the database uh, server. Um, and also, we'll see how many methods we have, and we'll try to uh, see and connect with the help of the SQL admin, uh, SQL connection, then MFA, as well as we'll try to do with the help of the Windows authentication. Okay, so let's get started. So I have my uh, already created, I have already created a particular uh, SQL server. So let's see and explore. I hope uh, you might have already installed the Azure Data Factory. So Azure Data Studio, we will be using the Azure Data Studio when we bring in the uh, image here this is the software this is the azure data factory uh, data studio my bad and uh, we also have an ssms so for ssms what happened is on my local laptop it is giving trouble so what i have done i have created a sql server to showcase that as well as to showcase the uh, azure uh, to showcase the local machine authentication which is windows authentication VM is already been started. I'll just go ahead and connect it. Okay. Uh, download the RDP file. So here we will connect. Yep. And then try to enter the username and password. Okay. Looks like some trouble. Maybe the password. Very uncommon issue. Let me try to fix. Yeah, looks like it will work today. No, perfect. So we are able to RDP, okay, uh, the file. Let's minimize it. Go to the SQL Server now, and let's cover the first scenario which is all about accessing the uh, Azure SQL with the help of the Azure Data uh, Studio. So let's go ahead and look for the server and add a connection. So while you add the connection, you need to enter the server name. So server name, you can bring it from here, server name. If you can see, this is the server name, which proceeds with database.windows.net. So anyway, anything, Anywhere you see Windows.net, make sure uh, make you make sure that you understand that it is based on Azure and Microsoft systems, obviously. And if it is a database, then it is a database actually, database server. So uh, copy this and uh, go ahead and look for uh, the sorry data studio. And over here, come back and paste it. Now it talks about the Windows authentic. Windows authentication over here, we have not set up, we have not created it. So it will definitely fail. So what I have done, I have created a SQL login. So for the SQL login, the user ID is user Azure user and the password, which I have just used it. I'm just keeping the same to connect and say we are able to connect or not. Let's see if that works. So uh, it is trying to have the creation of the URL. Now uh, we can see a lot of directories. You can ignore them. Uh, the main directory is hotmail.com. Now it is asking me to add the IP. Either I go ahead and add the IP like this or I can pick this IP which is 2.3.30.115.104. So let me copy this IP as 2.3 third 30 dot 15 dot 141 so manually copying and pasting into the azure firewall will be required if you are looking for a client connection where you don't have access to the uh, where you don't have access to uh, your uh, uh, azure portal this might be a case with the customer 
okay so customer means you are cust uh, you you are serving uh, to the customer and customer is asking to connect and however they have not given you access to portal so that time you will ask the uh, their IT administrator can you please whitelist this IP so that you can connect one method is this other method is you if you have if you are a global admin like I am and the global admin plus if you if you have understood about the RBAC roles if the RBAC roles is in place role based access control mechanism is in place and the IT administrator has given you SQL administrator or SQL contributor roles then you can actually be able to add this particular client IP but in case it is not the case what you can do uh, since you go you can go to the Azure SQL that's the database look and look for the database set the firewall rule and go down and either you click on here which says that add client IP which is the IP which I have noted you can just save it and uh, make it try to cancel this try to say again connect now this will pass through okay looks like the Azure user is not correct try again Azure user try again the password yeah so we are able to enter the Azure SQL now and we can see this this is the two databases which is one is the master one and another one the NCPL uh, that's the fictitious name so don't worry if anyone relates this please ignore me forgive me and if you see we have few tables created as I think we created in the morning around the course credit person and student yeah so first part of the demo is successful now the second part to connect with this is the uh, if let's suppose I am connecting this machine again what I need I need to look for a Microsoft enter ID which is universal with M. let's go and choose that will use the same uh, database so I think uh, I need to pick the database uh, name again um, I have not copied it into the notepad ideally you should be so I just copy it again and go back here and paste it now there is no username password because we will be using the account as a Microsoft enter ID very interesting go ahead and connect remember this time it will connect it may not ask for the extra prompt because we have whitelisted the IP which is the client IP which for our for our local machine we have uh, updated the IP to showcase that it is connecting correctly what I will do I will go ahead and remove the uh, uh, the uh, firewall rule and then save it save it then try to connect it again so that you understand what is happening behind the scene so connect now it is saying that your tenant requires to re-authenticate because it's a MFA uh, one time MFA I have used it so that's the case which is being seen so just it is asking to MFA and I will make sure that it is clicking on the MFA uh, account has been added successfully and I will just say yeah so after the adding it shows up bring up the screen that you should have a firewall rule created if I am in the same directory okay plus I have the roles in the backend like right now I am a global admin of my local directory I will be added I will be in in a capacity to add the firewall rule or I will have a database rollback access control otherwise this step cannot be completed without intervention of your customer you have they have to whitelist the IP so since I am on the roles on the higher role of the global admin as well as the RBAC role so I'll just say okay and this basically in the backend what is happening this IP is being getting added to the firewall rule remember we deleted the IP uh, we deleted the firewall rule I will show you again now it has been added if you see we are able to access it again go back and look for the firewall rule just refresh it probably you will see refresh it and you will see a client role uh, a client rule has been added okay see the time difference yeah it is added just now so this is the second method what is the third method third method is uh, third method is 
with the help of your Windows authentication. So go back and uh, for that, uh, what I have done in the backend, I have created a uh, SSMS, I have created a Windows server and I have created a, uh, I'll just try to open the SSMS, SSMS like this and enter. Okay, I think it is not been recognized now. We'll just say SQL Server Management Studio 20, open it. And my local SQL Server has been installed on this VM with local administration account. So I'll just try to open that with a Windows authentication, okay? So uh, you can connect, definitely you can use Microsoft SQL, My Management Studio as, as well to connect to Azure SQL. Uh, I can show that. Uh, but Azure Data Studio is the new way to, to access it, okay? Well, it is taking some time. Let's wait and see if it is a successful. Yeah, so it is asking me. So what I will do, I will go back and switch to the local database, which is this, and Windows authentication has been already enabled. So let's say connect. Hopefully, since the database has been created, I got the creation done. Now you can also connect with the help of my, uh, with the other virtual, uh, with the help of uh, the, uh, you can actually use the Azure Data, uh, Data Studio, or you can use this SSMS to connect. Same method will be used, Azure User Authentication. I'm just saying connect. Now it is asking for the client IP. This IP is changing, so that's the reason it is asking. So what I can do, I can go back and uh, whitelist this IP. So I will go back and uh, whitelist the IP. Uh, I will not click, click on the sign in. Obviously with the help of the sign in, I can do that. But uh, with the help of uh, the offline adding the IP to the firewall, uh, makes sense here. So I will quickly go ahead and uh, try to open it and add a role. Okay, let me move this to here. Add a firewall rule and say SQL VM. Paste the IP starting and end IP is the same IP. If you have a range, you can do that and save it. So it is updating the firewall rule. Go ahead and maximize it. Uh, cancel it right now. Click again and see if that works. Yep, it worked. Okay, now similarly, we can also connect the same server with the help of our MFA, password, and all those identities, manage identities, manage master name. So there are a lot of capabilities on Management Studio as well. So same thing, if I say yes, it will ask you for the username. You need to select with the username and the password, you should be good. So I would say that I was able to explain you uh, on, the, on this SQL, uh, SQL front as a SQL, uh, administration on the SSMS. So what I will do, I will just quickly grab the screenshot and uh, try to save it. Take a screenshot which I've taken and uh, I will also try to uh, look for a screenshot and on the data factory also, I will try to take a small screenshot so that uh, it makes sense to me uh, in my, um, in my, uh, particular uh, session. Uh, I will also write a newsletter, so that will be used in there. Thank you very much. Hope uh, this made sense today. And uh, keep following me and uh, try to like, subscribe, and help me to grow my followers and subscribers. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day ahead. Bye bye.